<laughs> hi everyone welcome back i hope y'all are doing um great i'm doing okay we're doing our house mouse uh image for the month this is called computer mice according to the label from tuesday morning um if you want to make sure that's what it's called you can go right here and type in this number HMCR52 and type in type that number in house mouse and it, it should come up with an image like this if not something very very similar this was uh, made in 2003 so I'm not sure if the image has changed or not um, we I stamped it out three times but I'm only gonna do one project because you know coloring is crazy so I stamped this out in black soot which I like a lot I like the black soot for some reason it just looks darker right versus the other ink in my opinion I stamped it out and then I tried not to um, get this because I was going to have them actually write in a real word like miss you or hi sending hugs or something but I'm not going to color these images yet I'm just going to stamp them out and put them aside I was going to do four cards but we're only going to do one today um, because it was starting to hurt my shoulder from applying so much pressure down so I was like oh no I can't do that so I'm gonna cut this off right here I'm gonna make that as clean as possible edge um, the markers I use are alcohol markers and they are from I'm not sure why but this thing looks crooked to me um, what was I gonna say uh, the alcohol markers I use Spectrum Noir and the markers that I showed you that I did a um, the Soho Studio markers that I got from Ross for ten dollars and it's 24 in a pack and you know I did the review and I was like oh they could have kept out some of the colors well I got some more markers um, about a month ago now and I'm going to do a review on those I already did the video I just need to watch it and type in any you know edit it basically and so here we go let's see what this measures now four and a quarter no four and a half uh, under four so what we're going to do I already pulled out the sheet of paper that we're going to use we're using this bow bunny I've been using this paper and we're going to make it a little bit bigger so if you don't want to actually do like really real good measurements <laughs> like brandy doesn't you can take your project your craft your colored image already and see how you want it on your paper just like that and glue it down and so that's what i, I do sometimes we're going to do that i'll show you that real quick and then we'll be finished with this little card um i think so i'm just going to use some art glitter glue now with art glitter glue, you know it kind of bows a little bit, so you want to make sure that you don't over apply the glue. And with this fine tip applicator, you can definitely not over apply. If you took this off, it would gush goo and ooze all over the place. So just keep that in mind. You know, I had did a video, a project, and I lost the needle. <laughs> it fell out because I didn't put it in there right. I was like, what are you doing, Brandy? So you can decide how you want to do it. We're going to do it this way so we can have more paper. To use on later projects. All right. Now it looks a little bit off. So I'll adjust it down. And that's another reason why I like to use the wet glue. It's because I can slightly adjust with art glitter glue. Not much, but a little bit. So you're going to turn it over, burnish it down. And with this, it doesn't matter because I didn't apply a lot of glue. But normally, I just do one, you know, I'll go up, smooth it all the way out that way. And then I'll go back down, smooth it all the way out like that and try to get the corners because I don't I don't always get the corners very well and there's our completed little thing I was going to make I wanted to do a few things with this project but I have um, 
decided not to. So what we're going to do is we're going to see how much we want to cut. Is that good? Let's go over just a little bit more. See, no measurement, <laughs> no measurements, right? Nothing's being measured. What's wrong with this woman? Ah, um, here we go. You know, I did that magazine review, The Crafts Beautiful, and I tried to do a video for Magazine Monday, and I was just so disappointed. I was just like, Ugh, I need to find a, a better magazine. All right, so we have this piece left, and then we have this. All right, I trimmed this down a little bit more to make it go on a A2 size card versus a 5x7 card. And what I want to do really, really quickly is take this strip of tape and strip of washi tape and find the beginning right here this is i don't know where it's from i really don't know where i got it from um uh, maybe hobby lobby i don't know i mean it's a strip i think it may be in a christmas one i'm not sure and so where i want to put this tape I want to put it where the white would be, only so we could see it a little bit, right? So I'm thinking right there. Because you're not going to see a, a lot of it, but, you know, if you have purchased... Uh, let's make sure it opens on the right side. It does. If you purchase one roll of washi tape, just one roll, then you're doing great. But I know for a fact... That people are washy harders. <laughs> so you probably have more than one strip of washi. So putting this underneath is not going to hurt the washi collection at all. That's what I'm saying, right? So whenever I do projects like this, I always worry about how it's going to affect the other side. So I think... No, I'm not going to do it. I was going to say I was going to... Um, have it wrap all the way around but I'm not going to do that so I'm just burnishing this down so it gets really really sticky and I can pull up the white piece better but first I'm going to trim this trim it off I wasn't going to trim it that's why you saw the little hesitation but I am going to trim it now because I don't want to put too much of the washi tape down and I'm like oh let me just fold it over because I don't want to fold it at all does it make sense? I hope it makes sense to you all. So now what we're going to do is um, take this off. Find our line. Let me find my light, right? <laughs> I'm just going to apply a little bit of pressure for first to make sure that it gets adhered down just slightly and then I'm going to come back with my phone folder and burnish this down now this um, glitter tape washi tape does not come off whatever they've done they've done a, a wonderful job for people like me I've never had any fallout the only thing is it does you know if you keep washing for a long time it's going to be a problem so you should use your washi tape as often as you like I know a lot of people are into using their washi tape and I've just been incorporated into some of my projects most recently but not enough is what i'm saying i need to do it more and more and more and more and more all right so now what i'm going to do this is from michael's as you can see i don't know what this is one of their newer ones i told myself i wasn't going to buy any more because i don't need them but i was like that is so pretty like the patterns would look good underneath other projects and i was like okay get it you know i had to talk myself into it and so that's how we're going to do it. But I think what I'm going to do is take a walk on the wild side and use tape. Now, I say take a walk on the wild side and use tape because you know how I feel about tape <laughs> on these projects. I, I'm not very good at keeping it down. But the reason why I want to use tape is because this is a little bit on the flimsy side. And I don't want it to bow up too much, right? So I don't know. I haven't decided if I'm going to treat the inside yet. Um, I know I've been trying to work on getting the inside treated, but I'm not sure. I'm going to put, I think, four strips down. 
I'm just going to do them horizontal or vertical, right? However you decide to look at it. I, I really want to make um, an easel card. So we'll see what I come up with. Because this is the end of the month, right? Today is the 30th, um, but it, you'll see this on the 31st. Because it takes almost a freaking day for my phone to upload. Never mind. I digress. <laughs> it just takes a while for my phone to upload um, videos lately. They did an update. You know, people always say this. They say, um, Microsoft did an update recently. And it seems like whenever Microsoft updates something, everything else goes wonky for like a month. And then all of a sudden it goes back to normal. So, um, I don't know if that's really true or not. But I've noticed that whenever people say it, it starts to be like wonky. And I think maybe it's just more psyche, mental psyche, than anything else. So I'm going to try my best at putting a little dot right here. Now, I got a tool from One and Dreamer 555 a long, long time ago. It's like a tool that you, um, I don't know the actual name of it. If you know the name, you can leave it in the comment section for me. So I can be more educated when it comes to telling you terms but it's like a measuring thing for you to measure how far and things like that for your craftiness it's still in a box and it's probably in a garage somewhere so what i'm going to do you see this little dot that i put there? i'm going to put this tip right on top of that dot because i want to cover that pencil marking up right all right so here is our card now I'm going to burnish this down. Let me turn it over. Now the thing about these cards, as you can see, you can't really, they've made it kind of so you can only use one side. I mean, you can trim this down if you like, but no one really, um, this side is plain and this side is not. I think this is a better solution versus the other. And I think we will treat the inside just real simple, nothing super fancy we're going to take this washi tape and i think we're going to run it across the bottom the top i don't know let's see because i haven't run across here i think we'll do down this way i do think we'll do two two strips so whenever i try to get super creative and fancy like what we're doing right now i end up um, administering the tape wrong, like laying the tape down incorrectly, um, which is kind of sucky for me. See, like it's crooked right there. So let's see if I can't adjust it before I. And what we're doing is just pulling it up and resetting it, all right? Yep, straight enough. Now I'm gonna burnish that down. So that's one of the reasons why I don't like to mess around with tape as well. But I feel like this tape will do a better job for me than putting the glue down, only because I don't want the paper to bow. But if you have like tape, I mean glue that doesn't cause your paper to sway and, and bow as much then definitely use that versus not using it all right i'm going to put two lines down and i'm going to put one line across right because i just felt like that it took me back to my christmas cards i still have to get some out so crazy um I'm always behind, but never this far behind. So I do apologize. I do apologize. Like I have a stack of stuff standing in my corner in my living room that I need to mail out to people. Um, and I just haven't, to be quite honest, I haven't had a lot of motivation to just get out the house and go to the post office, right? Not recently, at least. So, um, yep, yeah, I haven't wanted to go out to the post office either so you see right here it's kind of snipped crooked i'm just going to try and do that 
And I only released one just because I don't want to have to do it multiple times. You know, lay it down, pick it up, lay it down, pick it up. little bit off but that's okay and that I'm just pulling off the glue booger from the tape itself I'm gonna pull this one off you know I am having a trouble keeping up with the day the days I've never been good at dates since I have um, not really been working you know like employed employed but like what day is it? It seems like it's a a weekend. Like I feel like Groundhog Day, you know, uh, continuously the same kind of routine. Wake up, get up in the craft room, craft a little bit, um, cut up some paper, um, do some housework, play my computer game. See that's crooked. It's coming off. Oh come on, come on, come on. I'm going to move this over just a scotch. And then, you know, go to sleep and repeat. So, oh, come on. All right, so... I figured it out, I guess. And that's how the inside looks. So it's a little treated. And it's a blank card, essentially. It has no font, no sentiment at all. And, I mean, you can write whatever you want on here, on the inside. You know, I miss hanging out with you, across the miles, K, G, G, J, K, yeah, whatever. So, you know, <laughs> whatever you want to say. And then on the inside, you can, you know, write stuff. Now, I may come back and revisit these later and put, um, because the font that I was thinking, the word I was thinking of using, which is missing you, is in cursive. And I was like, hmm, but that looks suspicious. I don't know. So, I want to say thank you all for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this little journey that we took together. Um, until next time, happy crafting. <laughs>